Vivek Ramaswamy is running for president as a Republican. He's one of the few candidates that we're aware of who talks about the importance of civic duty. Last week, he got attention as headlines screamed he wanted to take the voting age away from anyone under the age of 25. What he actually believes is that Americans need to be more invested in their own country if they want the right to vote. It's a unique idea. And we talked to him about it on the latest episode of the Will Cain podcast. Here's part of our conversation. And I want Washington to go back to being what George Washington and the founding fathers envisioned it to be, which is three branches of government, not four. So, so I'm for these things, but I have a very different path to getting there than uh, than the path that led us to where we are right now, which is young people telling you probably saw this story now saying that they would rather hold on to TikTok than their right to vote. Most a majority of young people in a survey literally just said that's what they would prefer. They would keep hold on to their social media accounts and TikTok sooner than their right to vote. The Constitution has three branches of government, not four. So I want to see these things restored, civic duty, civic pride, constitutional republic. But whatever we're doing ain't getting us there. And so I think we're going to have to think about it very differently. And that's what I'm trying to do. Voting is not guaranteed in the Constitution. Read the entire Constitution front to back. Our founding fathers and everybody who wrote every amendment since, they knew what they were doing. They said you can't restrict the vote based on certain criteria. But there's no expressly constitutionally guaranteed right to vote because we don't live in a direct democracy. We live in a constitutional republic. And that means something. It comes with civic duties. So against that backdrop, tying the duties of tying the privileges of citizenship to duties, I think that's closer to the flame of the American way. And that in a small, very pragmatic way, if I may say so myself, but I think that in an implementable way is what I took a first step towards last week when I said that if you want to vote in this country before the age of 25, let's start with that. Before the age of 25, then you at least have to either have served the country or at minimum serve the country by learning something about it and pass the same civics test that we require of naturalized citizens. So so you and I are on the same wavelength here, Will. I just think we have to think outside the usual partisan boxes to get there. You know, I give you a hard time, Vivek, but I don't hate the proposal. Um, it's a carrot instead of a stick in terms of drawing people to civic engagement. You know, I, I do. I would push back on one thing in this. I, I don't know how concerned I should be, Vivek, that young people would sooner give up their right to vote than they would give up TikTok. Because I do think if you ran some kind of poll for the American population at large, you'd be disappointed in some of the outcomes, regardless of age demographics. If you asked, I don't know, I'm just going to hypothetically make something up. I don't You know, people my age, you know, would you would you rather give up a weekly alcoholic beverage or have your right to vote? We might be disappointed in the outcome of some of those poll results. So for young people, it just happens to be TikTok. I'm not sure that's unique to them is my point on how near and dear they hold that right to vote versus the alternative. But what I do think you're getting at and what I do like this idea of is hey, you can avail yourselves of privileges that would manifest by the age of 25 if you understand the country or invest in the country. Because what we're really getting at here is not age. What we're getting at here is understanding of the country. What I think you're asking people to do is to understand America, either by sacrificing to her some of your time or understanding who she is in a historical and philosophical context. And the truth is, Vivek, I'm not sure that's... I'm just thinking abstractly with you here. We're not we're not formulating law. I'm yeah. not sure what changes at the age of 25. I would like to see the entire citizenry more educated and more invested in America. So I'm with you, Will. I really am, actually. That's where I am in spirit. So now this is actually the first conversation I'm having since I've rolled this rolled the policy idea out that gets into the depth of my journey to get there. It just turns out pragmatic. So, so I'm actually with you. I'll say two things in response. Um against the backdrop of agreement. One is I, I'm actually asked, giving people three paths to understand the country. One is serve the country, military or first responder, police service. If not, at least learn something about the country in the form of the same civics tests that immigrants have to pass to become naturalized voting citizens. And if not, then at least live in the country as an adult for seven years and experience it likely as a taxpayer or finding your own way to actually at least have some skin in the game as an adult in the country. So those are three different paths to experience or know something, about, come to know something about the country. Whether, whether or not you like that idea, I think it's important we have people willing to consider big ideas to improve America. You can catch that full conversation, by the way, with 2024 GOP hopeful Vivek.